Hey guys, I am Torture Boy and welcome back to Ruby. So last chapter was insane. We got Neo back and I'm so happy. I don't think I've ever been happier to have Neo back. Um, she fought incredibly well. She actually landed more hits on Cinder than Cinder did her. She landed three, I think it was three solid hits on Cinder, whereas Cinder only landed two on her, which was insane. Cinder ended up having to use her maiden powers. Um, so it just proves how... how well, sin, that, but also that's the first time Neo's ever took a hit as well, which I think is very interesting. Like no one's been able to match her before, so it was cool to see Cinder with going hand to hand because we very rarely see Cinder actually do hand to hand either. Um, it was a very very good episode. All in all, we had a great Bumblebee moment. Um, I just call him Bumblebee not because of the ship, although you know me, <laughs> I do love the ship, but because it's very easy. Like. White Rose, Bumblebee, it's very easy to party people up, um, like that, so um, we had a great Bumblebee moment where she sort of held around and she's like, I will protect you, and Yang's like, I don't want to protect you, I want you to be your equal, and um, I thought that was very cool as well, um, hopefully we might get a little bit of a, a little bit of clarification of that, but I don't know, and what's in the cellar, that's what I want to know, what is in the cellar, so we're going to do a bit of analysis afterwards, but this, is Ruby. I'm not going to talk anymore. This is Alone in the Woods. <laughs> the Woods. <laughs> okay, let's go. Mm, damn. I love that shot. That's such a beautiful shot. You alright, Ruby? Oh, it's the gang. How is the gang? Oh, Blake! Storm's cleared up for now. We should be able to leave by morning. That's good. No. I don't have a good feeling about this place. Especially with me around. Are you... okay? <laughs> sure. Tell everyone to get some sleep. I'll wake you guys up just before sunrise. Damn, she's worrying about it becoming a problem. It very well it's could be. A diary? The head of this household, Bartleby. Apparently, Maria. he and several other families founded this little settlement to try and live on their own. It sounds like it worked. At least, for a spell. Grim? Just one of many hardships. Slowed down their farming, made everything harder. It's know. a shame, really. He seemed like quite the ambitious fellow. Always thinking of new schemes to overcome the odds. Hey, guys. Crow said we should get some sleep. We're gonna head out early tomorrow. Thank goodness. I wanna know more about the person in this house. <sighs> the last thing you'll catch me doing is letting some kid tell me what to do. Mm. Get in bed. Well, it's morning time, and the thing in the cellar hasn't killed anyone. You're gonna really regret sitting there. Oh wow, crow. <laughs> Uncle Crow, come on, get up. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, we overslept. <laughs> Oh, right. 
sunrise. Oh, she's... You know, you can talk to me about stuff. Oh. Yang, too. Let's just get out of here. She's trying to help him. There. Can we just go back to bed? <laughs> if we're all so tired, maybe we should make breakfast? Mm -hmm. You wanna make it? Not really. I think there's something about the house. You guys got the bike ready? Mm. Well, it's done now. So let's hook this thing up and... Yeah. I think there's something about this house that makes it go... People are just beacons for bad luck, aren't you? <laughs> wow, okay, lady. It's literally a semblance. Why don't you leave him alone? I'm starting to think the universe just doesn't want us getting to Atlas. It's just a flat tire. I'm sure there's a spare. It's not just that. It's everything. Storms, crashes, monsters. I'm so tired. Me too. It feels like we're always having to fight to get by. Yeah. But that's what we signed up for. Exactly. We signed up to try and save the world. Not just... delay the inevitable. Last night, I... I couldn't stop thinking. Why are we even going to Atlas? Weiss, we have to. Why? Osbin hid the relics behind giant doors under enormous schools. But how long would it take Salem to find a lamp in the middle of nowhere? But the Grim might. They'd find it eventually, sure. But bury it or There's just something throw in this it house. down the well. There's something years. down the well. It might not even happen in our lifetime. But we could be done with it now. Mm -hmm. Something about the silver eyes. I am really tired. Uh oh. Well, Ruby, you held out so well, though. No! <sighs> but you're not that tired. It's okay. No! No! There's something down there! I saw it! It was looking at me! Hey, it's okay. You just said you're tired. It was probably nothing. Uh oh. Now let's go. What's wrong with you? We can't just leave! We have to go down there! We have to get the lamp back! Oh, what was I thinking? All we have to do is fix this trailer. Hey, farm boy, check the shed for a spare. I Damn. <sighs> I'll go down with you. We'll go down together. Uh oh. I don't trust it. Fine. I'm not about crow. Get a stupid lamp. Oscar, fix a stupid tire. Where are you going? Where do you think? Stupid. Yep. Everyone's stupid. What is going on in this house? Oh my god, it's the thing in the- is it the mineshaft thing with the loads of tendrils? I don't trust these ladies right now. Maybe the current carried it away. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not sure there's really much of a- that much of a current. They look out of it. Is it? 
Turn off your lights and just look for the glow. Okay. Levin's been pointing them out to me the other day. <clears throat> there. I appear to have walked in. Ruby? Oh, thank God you all wake up. Thank you. What is it? Well. Um. Ooh. What is this? My weapon feels heavy. Run! Run! Go, go. That is the most hideous thing I've ever seen in my life. What the fuck is happening? Oh! I'm falling really, really fast. Actually. Oh shit, they don't have to. This way! We're gonna get stuck down this mine shaft. Oh, motherfucker! Jesus, oh, he's dead. This is fine, me. Oh, Jesus. Ah! your eyes. They're silver. <gasps> you have a family? Friends? What? Don't think about them. Think about the people who love you. Focus on the thought of them. The way they make you feel. Focus. Life is beautiful. No. No. It is precious. No. And it must be protected. protected. Holy shit.
Holy shit, Ruby. Yes, Yang is on it. We're back in the house? Uncle Crow, get up! Hey, get off me. What are you doing here? We're leaving, you idiots. Come on! How did she know how to do that? Oh! <gasps> Not yet. Huh? What's the lights gonna do? Yes, wife! Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> Girl! Now we can leave. Nice idea. Stop it! Stop! What's wrong with you? What's... Yeah, that's what's wrong, Crow. I'm glad you're... Let's go. Jeez. The apathy. They're not strong or ferocious. <clears throat> they have to be, I don't imagine. They drain your will to go on. Bartleby's estate was hemorrhaging money towards the end. He wanted to cut costs on Huntsman protection. But in order to do that, he needed everyone calm. Always. Damn. Managed to get two away from their pack. Hike back was miserable, but got the bastards in the cellar. Wife thinks I was out sealing the waterway entrance. I'll do it tomorrow and tell her the truth once these things take the edge off of everyone. I'm tired. The next page proves that he did. But not before the rest of the pack followed their missing pair all the of way course. home. Of course. My guess is they made their way beneath the estate through the water tunnels. That Bartleby sealed up the next morning. Bartleby's plan worked. Until it didn't. No one was angry or sad or scared. Or alive. No one was anything. And then I'm tired. no one was left. Who are you, Maria? I'm sorry for what I said about giving up me too we can't quit until the lamp is safe exactly it's not your fault it was those things I should have known the signs were all there but I'd never seen an entire settlement withered away like that I suppose my mind just isn't what it used to be. Miss Calavera? How do you know so much about the Grim? And in the tunnels you knew exactly what to say to make me... to make my eyes do that. How? <laughs> well, isn't it obvious, girl? <laughs> I had silver eyes. Yeah, I kind of figured that one. To be honest. That was impressive. That was impressive. I know you guys said this was all about scaling, but I like the idea that it's like playing Find the Ruby. Um, no, that was impressive. I really enjoyed that. That was a great, a great episode. Um, oh. I just love the whole the whole horror sequence. It was very much a, a bottle episode, not in the way of like um, it was, it was, it was stuck in one place, well not stuck, but you know what I mean, it was stayed in one place, um, it was, oh, it was just awesome, and I'm just, I'm so, I'm so excited to see where we're going from here and where we're going next, and, and what comes next, because I just know that it's going to be 
Oh, it's going to be so lit. It really is. Um, I can't wait. I really can't. Um, I hope we get to see a lot of... Um, oh, I can't wait to see what Maria's life was like. And maybe we'll get like a flashback episode. I don't know. Um, but Alone in the Woods is definitely... Is definitely the one we've been waiting for, I think, to be honest. Um, it was just everything that I, I wanted, I think. So, I don't know. Oh, that was cool. That was cool, because we got, we got to see, like, them all sort of... I feel like when they were tired, they had no reason to go on, but we actually see them at the end, like... Excuse <clears throat> me. It gives them a sort of resolve to carry on, and I really like that. Um, I always thought Pasi was so creepy. They were really creepy. I did not appreciate the creepiness. Um, but I did enjoy the creepiness, I'll be honest. Um, it was really great. It was really, really great. And I hope you all enjoyed it. I know I did. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Have an amazing day. That was really good. I saw some theories that Brunswick Farm was actually Torchwick and Neo's farm. That they were brother and sister, but I don't think that was the... I don't think that was the case. I think it was just a, a cool, unrelated event, which is sometimes needed in stories, so I like that. I like that a lot. Um, thank you for watching. I love you all. How cool would this be as a... Uh, as a sort of um, mid-season... Uh, as a sort of D&D &D game, sorry. How cool would that be? It would be awesome. Um, thank you for watching. I love you all. I have been Toshaboy. You've been awesome. And this has been Ruby. Bye.